Hi, my name is Gary Chapman. This is my Canon M50 camera, and this is GTC photography. And this is my heart because I think I might need it today. <laughs> Hey guys, so decided to come to Glam's today and do the photos. Um, I think we'll look through the equipment first just to show you what kind of stuff I'm using. Right guys, so here's the equipment I use. This is my Canon uh, M50 camera. Kraken camera. Kraken. It has a 45mm lens on. And then I've got my 200mm lens on for getting the further away shots. I've got my camera bag and my charger. I've got a night light as well. And I have my tripod. Tripod's one of the most important bits of equipment. Because if you want nice crisp photos, then this is what you need. This stands about a metre and a half high. And it gives you perfect photos just about every time. Right, so we're walking in Glamswood just now. It's raining, so I don't know how good the photos are going to be today. But uh, Glams is full of history. It's where the Queen Mother was born, and I'm sure the Queen played here as a child at the castle. So you can imagine maybe they've been around these woods as well. So we'll go and see if we can get some more photos. And you see the kind of equipment that I've got? Kraken camera. Kraken. And I will talk you through kind of the angles that I look at when I'm taking a photo because I think if you're to get the best photos that other people don't have you want to feel a bit self-conscious when you're taking photos if you feel awkward and you look awkward then you're going to get a different photo than everybody else so we'll crack on and we'll walk down through the woods and see what we can see might not get much of the village because of the rain but the canopy of the tree seems to be kind of helping us out a bit here tonight. I guess you're wondering, what, what's he doing? But it's always a different angle to try and get a different picture. So the sun's coming through the canopy. A bit sore on the neck, but uh, I'm trying to get the bark and the leaves. I think there's a wee bit of too much light in that. So, It's always worth a shot, you never know. And uh, to get better photos and to be different, you don't just want to stand and take a photo, take a photo, take a photo, because that's what everybody does. First thing to do, instinct, quickly take a photo and then move on. But if you think about it, and maybe just have a wee look about, it makes a whole lot different picture. Right, so we seem to have found a nice spot here. We want to come around a bit, you look at the We've got the bridge going over the water, but we've got plenty of stuff in the foreground as well, so we can make that kind of story of a picture, the composition. You've got something in the foreground, and then you've got something in the middle, and something in the background. And then you get a bit more in-depth picture. So we'll set up here, and we'll see what we can get. Right, so now I've set my camera. Kraken camera. Kraken. And I've got my angle. I've got the corner of the tree and I've got stones, I've got the water, I've got dangling branches and then I've got the bridge at the back. So this is looking like a pretty good shot. I've got it at an underexposure so I can bring the colours up when I'm editing later on in the day. So hopefully at the end of this video I'll have three pictures that I can show, which is quite hard to do on one little trick, but we get three good pictures to edit at the end. and. Uh, Hopefully you'll enjoy them, and just as much as I enjoy making them. The Canon M50 Kraken camera. Kraken. It's a really decent camera for starting off. 
I'm not a professional photographer and I don't claim to be. I'm an amateur photographer and I really enjoy doing this. So that's why I'm putting this YouTube channel out. Um, I'm hoping to show you guys parts of Scotland that you maybe not get to see. And with the way things are just now and the way travel is just now, it's maybe an insight for uh, people abroad to see places that they're not going to get to anytime soon. So that's the idea. But for anybody starting out, I totally recommend a Canon M50 camera. Cracking camera. Cracking. Perfect. It shoots in the 4K video as well. And uh, aye, go for it. Why not? I did. And I'm not the best. I don't claim to be the best. But I think I've got an eye for it. And my photos seem to be decent. So, and I hope you enjoy my pictures as much as I do. So, let's go. So this time, for this photo, we need to be low down, so we've done away with the tripod which is kind of an ob obvious obvious operation and the trees actually tower up through the canopy. So I think if we take a low down photo here, it is a bit dark so I'm on shooting at 1 6 a second, f8 and ISO 100. ISO 100 gives you the crispest, uh, crisp quality pictures for your RAW. That's another thing, I'm shooting in RAW mode. So when you go to process your pictures, if that's what you're into, you'll be able to recover most of the colours, a lot of the colours, just about all the colours that you get. So uh, we'll take a couple of photos of these trees and then we'll move on to the next spot. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so we took a close-up of the trees from in amongst the foliage kind of thing, but as I came back a bit, the kind of picture kind of opens up a bit when you have a double look. Sometimes it's sometimes it's good just to take a couple of steps back or even go to the other side of the tree or just move about, look about, duck, dive, up, down, if you know what I mean. And uh, we put the tripod back on because it is getting a bit dull so I want to leave the shutter open to get more light in. So that's what we're doing, it's at 1.6 seconds and F80, it's on the tripod. I should really have a remote control to do this, but we'll try it and we'll see what we get. It's trial and error. Majority of the time, they say photography is more failure than actually winning. So sometimes you could go out all day and take photos all day and come back with nothing. So that's at 1.6, f8 and ISO 100. I always like to stick at ISO 100 because you seem to get a crisp picture. Right, as we're walking down through the woods, we're actually getting closer to Glam's Castle. Um, Glam's Castle is famous for being one of the most haunted castles in Scotland. I think there is actually nine ghosts to do with Glam's Castle. Nine ghosts. So, I put definitely a place to come at Halloween. Um, honestly, heaps of stuff, heaps of stuff to know about Glam's Castle and Glam's and the surroundings. But uh, that's what Google's for. And this is a photography programme, not, not uh, a history programme. But it's nice to get a fact now and again, so I'll give Google a try if you need to know some more facts about glams. But hopefully we'll get the photos done and then we'll be on our way home. I guess you're wondering, what, what's he doing? Final photo of the day! Hey guys, if you're liking these videos that I'm doing about photography I'm trying to get um, the best pictures I can for you and I'm trying to show you a bit of uh, Scotland that you don't really get to see So, if you like them, please, please hit the like button and subscribe Because it will help me actually get out and about a bit more to maybe some more eye-catching places That's the plan um, But I need the, the confidence behind me that the subscriptions and that knowing that people like what I'm doing. So subscribe, like, and even leave a comment of any ideas that you'd like me to take photos of. Um, that would be spot on. Thank you very much.
Right, guys, mind and have a look at my Instagram as well. Cheers.